We're going to take another look at uh, President Xi's four-country tour of Latin America. Now, after attending the BRICS summit in Brazil, Xi headed to Argentina, where he said relations with China are set to reach new horizons. And after stopping in oil-rich Venezuela, he'll finish up his trip in Cuba. Now, President Xi is due to arrive at his final destination in Cuba very shortly. Our correspondent Michael Voss joins us now live from Havana. What's expected uh, thus far from his last leg? Well, Philip, the timing of this visit is very important for Cuba. President Xi Jinping arrives at a critical point in this communist island's attempts to reform and modernize its economy, and it's recently opened its doors to foreign investment. Now, an advance party of almost 50 Chinese businessmen and bankers have arrived in Havana to look at potential investment and trade opportunities here. And one of the areas that's already attracting attention is Cuba's biotechnology and pharmaceutical sector. This new factory in Havana will begin production this week of electronic test strips used in diabetic blood glucose monitors. A Chinese delegation accompanying President Xi Jinping will attend the opening ceremony. Cuba used to import almost everything from China. Now they've bought the technology and know-how and can meet the needs of Cuban diabetics. And that's just the beginning. We are hoping to sign a letter of intent with the Chinese to build another facility here, five times bigger than this one. The new factory is intended to turn this into an export industry. This is very much of a two-way relationship. Cuba isn't just buying Chinese technology. It's also setting up joint venture companies in China, producing medicines developed here in Cuba. The Cuban government has invested heavily in developing a world-class biotechnology and pharmaceutical sector. It developed groundbreaking vaccines for meningitis and hepatitis B. More recent breakthroughs include a number of anti-cancer drugs. These include a treatment for head and neck tumors, one of the most prevalent types of cancer in China. This is now manufactured by a Cuban-Chinese joint venture at an industrial park in Beijing. It's one of three joint ventures in China producing both medicines and bioagricultural products. It was an alliance based on the supply by Cuba of uh, technology and patents and the uh, Chinese capacity of uh, mobilizing money and, uh, and building capacity and the market. Now Cuba is looking for Chinese companies to invest in pharmaceutical facilities in the tax-free special development zone at Mariel. Biosensors for diabetics may be the first new investment in Mariel, but negotiations are also underway with a number of major Chinese drug companies to build export hubs in Cuba. Current trade between the two countries currently stands at about $2 billion, a mere drop in the ocean compared to the $260 billion in bilateral trade across Latin America, but it is growing at about 8%. Major exports from China include machinery, buses, cars and uh, household appliances, and as well as pharmaceuticals, Cuba exports nickel, sugar, rum and cigars. Philip. Hey, uh, Michael, there's a bit of a trend here. When, uh, when leaders stop by Cuba, we normally see big deals being announced. So I guess my question, this might not be any different. Do we expect any big deals to be announced uh, by China? I think one of them is we're all waiting to see if anyone's really going to invest in this new special development zone at Mariel. I think the other one to look out for is railways. It's been a big topic on President Xi's trip. He's talked about financing a railroad from Brazil to Peru and another railroad in Argentina. And I know that amongst the Chinese businessmen who are currently here are some very senior executives from Chinese railroad companies.